Let me finish tonight with Iraq, the war in Iraq, George W. and the neocons war to get Saddam Hussein. The war that took us away from fighting the terrorists who attacked us to fighting a war the Hawks wanted us to fight. What an embarrassment the decision to fight this war has been. A war we were brought into by someone of limited ability using odd sounding phrases like WMD, phrases that forever conflated for propaganda's sake, nuclear weapons with the building of nuclear weapons, to the possibility of building nuclear weapons, to the desire to use nuclear weapons to okay chemical weapons, plans to have chemical weapons, to have a history of having used chemical weapons, to a possible desire to have chemical weapons to okay, we got it all wrong. There was nothing there. We knew that because of a defense intelligence estimate before the war that said Saddam had no nuclear weapons, had no effort underway to build any, and no effort underway to buy any nuclear weapons. It was this endless dissembling and word gaming that got a thin majority of the American people to back the invasion and takeover of another country. It was the total support of one political party, the Republicans, and the pathetic collaboration of a second, the Democrats, that allowed this American war in Iraq to take place in the first place. And today, the president who ran against the war announced that it will be over come Christmas. Good. Bad that it was ever fought. Good that it is over. Good. Good for Obama. Just good. But again, and never to be forgotten, bad that we ever did it. Bad that so many Americans were talked into it by double talk and cheap propaganda that should have been cut through by the media like a knife through soft butter.